Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you want to save the image you are creating for web display, then you can use the Save for Web and Devices, or just Save for Web if you're using version CS and earlier, dialog box to make sure that the image file is as small as possible without sacrificing image quality while ensuring that the format that you use will display correctly online. To view this dialog box, select File and then Save for Web and Devices from the menu bar. You can then use the settings available at the right side of this dialog box to determine the size and download time for the image once it's uploaded to the web. At the right, you can use the Preset drop-down to select a type of preset format for your image if you like. You can also select your own options in the area below that by using the settings available to create your own customized format. So we have up here the Presets drop-down if you want one of those you can select that or you can choose your own. You can save a simple vector drawing with a few colors for example as a GIF image and then you can click into the color table down here to change advanced color options such as removing colors from your image etc. You can save more complex photography with many colors as a JPEG or PNG graphic. Many times, however, the file that you've created in Photoshop is just too large for easy download on the web. In that case, you can use the image size area towards the bottom of the right side of the dialog box, right down here, and you can set a new height and width for your image. Now you can also check the Constrain Proportions chain link icon, that's right here. You can toggle it on and off and this is a checkbox in CS3 and earlier, to keep the image from warping and maintain its proportions. So I could go in here, for example, and change this to 250, and it will change the height appropriately. You use the quality dropdown to select which resampling method you want to use for the graphic. We've seen these before. Now, note in the lower left corner of the image preview are the current settings for your image, right over here. You will see its format and then its actual size, and below that you'll see how long it will take to download at a given speed of internet connectivity. If you right-click in this area, you'll see a pop-up menu where you can change the download connectivity rate, and thus the download time, to view how long it will take people with different rates of internet connectivity to download your image. So you can just click into one of those, for example, and see how long it will take. In this case, two seconds. That's a pretty short download time. When you're ready to save your graphic for the web, you can click the Save button right here, and that will launch the Save Optimized as dialog box that we see here, where you can select to where you want to save the optimized image file and what to call it, just like we saw in the last lesson. And when you're ready, you just click Save Again. Now, in this case, it's asking me, do we want to replace the files? And that's because we saved it as a JPEG before, but now it's optimized for the web at the image size that we want. So we're going to go ahead and click Replace to replace it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.